Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the Immigration and Jobs Talk Show. Since Donald Trump's re election, it's been busy for Wisconsin immigration attorney Melissa Soboralski, who's been getting flooded with calls from anxious clients worried about what's next. Imagine Melissa as a one person lighthouse in a sea of immigration panic, keeping everyone calm, even as the waves get higher. Trump's new team is starting to reveal its plans, and things are looking intense for undocumented immigrants, including those without criminal records. The recent appointment of asterisk Stephen Miller, known for his tough stance on immigration, as deputy chief of staff for policy, and Tom Homan, former ICE leader during the family separation policies, as border czar, signals that Trump's administration isn't kidding around. Melissa's worried about Miller's plan to speed up efforts to strip citizenship from certain groups, saying, if they're starting to target that group, to me, it means no one is off limits. So, what could mass deportation really look like? Trump has talked about large-scale deportations, but experts say the logistics and cost make this more like a blockbuster action movie tough to pull off and probably going way over budget. The American Immigration Council estimates that deporting all 13 million undocumented individuals would cost at least a cool $315 billion. Under the Biden administration, deportations mainly targeted serious criminal cases, while raids on workplaces and individuals without criminal records weren't prioritized. But with local ICE agreements in counties like Waukesha, Wisconsin, law enforcement could start playing a bigger role in detaining people under Trump's plans. Now, what about due process? Quick deportations without a hearing? Legally, people picked up for deportation get their day in court unless Trump's plan to expand, expedited removal, from the border areas to the whole nation succeeds. It's a controversial move, and legal challenges are pretty much guaranteed. On the chopping block might be DACA, asylum, and refugee resettlement. Trump tried to end DACA in his first term, and there's a good chance they'll try again, with a Supreme Court battle likely in the wings. Other policies being tossed around include restarting the Remain in Mexico program for asylum seekers reapplying Title 42 to turn away migrants at the border pausing or limiting legal immigration pathways like family and work visas possibly reviving the travel ban from certain Muslim-majority countries Soboralski has some advice for those feeling uneasy. Get trusted legal advice and make sure you know your options. Plan ahead for family members who may need to leave, including arrangements for child care, finances, and power of attorney. Know your rights if you're stopped. Carry valid documents, but leave anything that's not legal at home. These steps might not solve everything, but they can help families feel a little more ready for the road ahead. Let us know what you think in the comments below. And don't forget, hit that subscribe button for more updates, because we've got all the immigration tea, and we're spilling it regularly. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more on the Immigration and Jobs Talk Show. Thank you.